tell you a little story now. Seems how we're telling stories tonight. A few years ago, I went to go and live uh, live in India. I lived it for an entire year. I was there, and before I left, I went to my little hometown. I went to go say goodbye to my parents and go. But I never knew when I was going to be back. I'd given things away. I'd been winnowing all of my belongings, paring down. And I get to this, uh, I get to this point where I'm just ready to go and I, I'm about to turn and walk out this, the door and this woman who I'd never met before is in a bar. She walks up to me and she says, are you going to India? And I said, yes. She said, well, you, you won't happen to be going to the Ganges River by chance, would you? I said, well, probably, it's, you know, if you know the Ganges River, is it? it's like the most holy river in all of the Indian subcontinent. It winds its way from the Himalayas all the way down to the Indian Ocean. And I said, yeah, I probably will hit it once along the way. She says, well, you know, I have a, um, I have a friend who passed away a few years ago, and uh, her last wish was for her ashes to be scattered in the Ganges. And I said, oh, Lord. <laughs> and <laughs> she said, uh, would you, could you, I said, I said, yeah, okay. I, I, know I said, yes, I'll, I'll take her. And so she goes back to her, she says, hold on a second, she's at home in my underwear drawer. And she runs back home to her, well, it took a long time, and she came back and opened up uh, this, uh, she gave me this Zales velvet, this red Zales jewelry box, and I opened it up, and inside was a little baggie with some ashes in it, and it said, Robin Snowden. Beaver, Pennsylvania, have a nice journey. So I took Robin and I stuck her in the bottom of my backpack and for months I traveled and her with me and we went to uh, the south, and we went to Bangalore, and we went to Goa, and then we went off to the Himalayas and we worked our way down and finally ended up in Varanasi which is one of the oldest living cities on earth. And if you've ever been there, it's sunset. It's actually where a lot of people go to make prayers and die when they pass away and their ashes will be raked into the river. And at sunset, they light these little candles and put them on leaves and they send the leaves down the river, thousands of them. So it looks like stars, a river of stars at night. And we took a boat out there and we scattered Robin's ashes at sunset said a few words and came back and sat on the bank and played some music and meditated and thought about her life. She was a steel worker, you know, and a librarian simultaneously <laughs> in Beaver, Pennsylvania. Chose. 
connection God knows time will only tell us I suppose you chose the rose and I got stuck with dust between my toes but my heart is on fire my heart is on fire Something burning love knows whom it must be me. November leaves falling from the trees. I've been calling there, nobody there. Calling out to me. Seem like you and I connected by a blue sky, telephone wires. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's my heart on fire. My heart is on fire. Something burning, Lord. Something burning, Lord. Oh, no, no, it must be me.
Thank you. And the true story at that.